not just from a copyright standpoint, but even from, we were talking about this the other day. So M&S, their hack, right, which was social engineering. Well, how secure is me sending a six digit passcode to your phone? The phone is not linked to your identity. It's not linked to anything other than you've told me that's your phone number. And yet this six digit code magically makes it secure. Uh, I think that's a big issue. And if I can now use uh, an AI, and it doesn't have to be open AI, right? The safety protocols are there, but you can use uh, any of the open source versions like Llama, whatever it might be, run it locally on your own machine. There's loads of tools out there like anything LLM that will allow you to do it. Why can I connect? that online and I can say right go and find the maiden name for Colton's mum right and give it access to Facebook give it access to LinkedIn what we we're saying before about kind of marketing whoever makes the most noise whoever's connected to the most people we well, don't know who half those connections are on LinkedIn yeah. so now if I can connect into you um, for all of these fake accounts that are being kind of managed and hosted in really uh, not very nice environments then suddenly your maiden name of your mum it's not a security uh, kind of, Question. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a security risk, yeah. right? First name of your dog, whatever it might be. School, so on. Yeah. yeah. I, I, so I think that's really dangerous. And so we need to move away from just usernames, passwords and security questions. And we mo need to move more towards contextual permissions. And it's one of the things that we do at Origin, which is create context around access rather than just you've got a username and password and yeah. you know, 